Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we took on the, uh, re the return to the Temple of the Ocean King, where we got ourselves another sea chart. It's a bit dusty, though, so we're going to have to uncover the secrets of it, figure out the location of the second spirit that we need to free, and uh, go from there. So, all we need to do is head back to the port, show line back the uh, new thing we've taken care of. Actually, do you have something to say to us? Uh, nope, nothing. Oh, a tip. Um... Oh, okay. So you can... Stuff of shit parts. Okay. Oh, there we go. You're the one who gives me the tip. Um, does a ship of ours have, have a cannon? No, it doesn't. So, uh... Makes sea life easier. Way to defend ourselves. Um, an island to the south named Cannon Island. You might have to pay that place a visit later on. But for now, uh... We have found the sea chart. So, yeah. You're lucky that we do everything. But yeah, we have the new sea chart. Unfortunately, it's, a. Uh, it's still a bit dusty, so we don't really know the location of the next spirit. Blow me down to the ground! Oh! Uh, well, I think we need to blow again, so... That's a lot of dust. Ah, come on! Oh, that was a tiny little blow. So, uh, with that, we blow off the rest of the dust, and we've uncovered the secret! Oh, man, such a tough secret. So... Oh, yeah, you totally knew what was going on there. So, uh, we know the island of the, where the next spirit is, and we headed northwest. That being said, we've had trouble heading north. If you don't remember, a tornado is an issue there, so, uh, we're gonna have to keep that in mind. For now, though, a cannon sounds nice to have for our ship, um, so we're gonna actually go ahead and head to Cannon Island instead in this episode, and pick ourselves up a cannon, for it's gonna be required in order to get to the northwest area, because as you remember correctly, actually, I guess we can demonstrate this once again, uh, if you head to the northwest, um, okay. So, basically, in order to navigate to a new area, you just head to the north. Um, and it will, uh, so basically head to the north, and then we have to draw a new route in the north area. So we can head to the northwestern sea, like we've seen before, but the problem is, as we've seen, uh, we're going to need, let's get rid of the base of the tornado. Actually, you know what, we'll just, we're just gonna go ahead and, as long as we're here, we're gonna head to Cannon Island first. Just take my word for it, we've seen it last time. The tornadoes are up there, and the route to the left is still blocked by rocks. So we actually need the can to break those rocks in order to get away from that tornado, because it's blocking our path. We'll still uh, show off the tornado, but I won't waste time sailing there when Cannon Island is literally right here. Let's just go ahead, get to Cannon Island, take care of it right away, make this it's a lot easier and quicker. So we head here to Cannon Island, and it's now time for us to... Uh, to explore this place for realsies, because if we head in here now, uh, we'll actually be able to access uh, this place for realsies. You talk to this guy, be like, "Hey, we're at Edo's garage. He's the apprentice, and I'm lucky. Yeah, I want a cannon. We don't have him ready to sell yet. He's working on it though, so he's in his workroom. So, uh, how are we gonna get to him? Well, the way we do that is to go speak of the master. So we're gonna have to go around the island the long way, the dangerous way." So on and so forth. Luckily, he's going to let us through that gate that we saw earlier. And uh, from there, we're going to be able to essentially head around this island and go from there. So there's monsters, though, so we're going to have to be careful. We have a bit of puzzles and a bit of exploring to do in order to get ourselves a cannon. And that's why it's going to take up the good, a good portion of this episode today. So we're going to be a fortune amid the beehive. So keep that in mind. There's a... It's a fortune to be had here. That being said, it's not about uh, breaking these beehives, although if you want to harass them, you kind of cut them and break them that way. Just be careful, because if you uh, cut them once, you'll actually just summon a horde of bees. Spin attacks are helpful in this situation, when if they actually attack you, which these ones just kind of didn't bum rush me. No more bees! It's annoying. That being said, any tree that has a beehive on it, if you roll into it, it'll actually drop three hearts. So they're actually good places to heal if you... Uh, to keep that in mind. So if we head over to this path over here, amid the beehives is in fact a treasure, uh, a treasure map, which I kind of said a little earlier there, but a treasure map, essentially. So unfortunately we have no way of dealing with hidden treasure yet, but it will be something we can do soon enough when we have the correct parts for it. We'll actually get a little bit of a hint towards that later on in this episode, as a matter of fact. Um, about that. Anyway, the bomb garden's up ahead, let's head inside and, uh, Take care of, of that. Hey, hey, stop. It's kind of rude. So, there's more things here, and we get uh, basically bomb flowers. So you pick them up by tapping them, 
and you throw it like anything else, and they'll basically be our bombs until we actually get bombs. So keep that in mind. We're gonna have to essentially do stuff with these bomb flowers uh, as we go throughout this. You can also throw them over fences like this. So if we want to break this rock, we can actually throw it over there like this and break it that way, allowing us to push the block inside here and progress further. Because we couldn't push it back, it was blocked from the. Uh, the side there. There's also a thing we could bomb over here, so that's actually a fairly good idea. We're going to do just that. So grab yourself a nice little bomb here and quickly toss it over there. Don't have much time, but if you do, you'll be rewarded with another power gem. So always pretty cool to do that. So we got ourselves another power gem, and uh, all we have to do from now is continue head forward. We don't need a bomb. Sorry, bomb. Didn't, didn't mean to, to bother you. So what we're going to want to do here is, we're actually going to want to pull this one all the way back, I think. Yeah. Because this block will be in the way as long as it's up there, so... Didn't mean to swing my sword, touchscreen! But that's okay. I still love you, even though you just randomly blew me up, Sward. So, more rats here. Get out of the way. And we're going to need uh, another bomb to get through that thing. So, lots of bomb puzzles to get to uh, your, our cannon. Go figure that, you know, I mean, he does make cannons, he would have a bomb garden, I suppose. It does make sense, you know? So, we head through here, and man, I don't care what calls a bomb garden. Just be careful how you stab here, because you can easily explode everything if you're not careful. Ow. In fact, if you're a, you kind of just blow everything up if you position the bomb correctly, it's just kind of funny. So, massive, well, I guess that wasn't that big of an explosion. They do grow up back really fast. They grow up so fast! Uh, over here is a treasure that we could have saw while you're we near the entrance. This will have a, just 20 rupees, but it's something. Uh, we'll start, we are going to start to roll in the rupees really soon, like I said, so keep that in mind. Speaking of roll, I keep rolling randomly. This, I don't know what it is today, but like this touchscreen is just so sensitive right now. It's a little silly. So essentially, there's just a few more bomb puzzles for us to solve. Just a few easy throws here. And uh, just be careful. Break rocks for hearts. You might need them if you keep accidentally blowing yourself up like I have. Um, there's kind of a long way around this island. I don't remember if there's anything in really that important over here, except you know, if you have a few enemies, that'll be a pain in the butt. But it does show that there is actually a thing you need to do with uh, bombs over here. First of all, you need to clear out these rocks, though. So if, if, as long as these rocks are in the way, you're not going to have a good time uh, solving this puzzle. Because we need to basically destroy... I'm going to just throw all these shoes while we're here, because they're just kind of a pain in the butt. Just stop. Uh, what's up? And his garage is over there. Well, thank you for letting me know. So we need to destroy these bomb rocks. This one's actually a little bit tricky, just because you don't really have that much time to do this. Now with the rupee. Yay, one well, more rupee. Clearly important. I have my priorities straight. So the way you want to do this, uh, head back up to the bomb garden. You want to gonna, you're going to want to grab this bomb right here and quickly make a hustle over here and toss it over there. So... Bit of a bit of a quick jump, and you need to make sure you clear all the rocks and obstacles before you attempt that. But once you do, it's fairly simple as long as you uh, pick the right bomb and you know don't take your time. You you have a fairly tight time frame to take care of that one. So once you're in here, hey, it's Master Edo. Kind of reminds me of Egad from uh, the Mario series. Anyway, we demand a cannon. That's right, I would do this. So, basically, we're going to get a cannon after he stumps blabbing. We're going to cough up big rupees, though. Do we have the gusty here? How much? Uh... Okay, fine. We do have the guts. So, uh... Yeah, I want to know how much it's going to hurt. Oh, man. Am I ready? Okay, he's hyping this up a lot. It's probably going to be, like, millions of rupees. Oh. Uh... Well... I... I have 179... I mean, sure. Have uh, I? How did I get 50 rupees? I cut your grass. That's how I got 50 rupees. We get ourselves a cannon finally. So the eighth ship part we now have. Um, he's also going to devise a, a salvage arm at some point to allow us to get those treasures. However, until he develops it, we can't actually uh, get any of those treasures that that we've gotten so far. But once we do, we're going to have plenty of treasures to get at that point. So um, the nice thing is, once we actually do have that option, it'll be a uh, We'll have plenty of things to go out and get with it. He has a bear on his shirt! It's adorable. Anyway. Hey, more mail! Special delivery! Well, what do we actually... What, what do you want, Mr. Mailman? What do you have for me? Uh, the, well, a letter from the postmaster to me. Oh, man. What do you What do you got for me, man? So, uh, the new postman's working out. Unusual request. 
etc, etc. So basically, he's just telling us to be nice to us. Duh. Well, okay. I mean, he looks like a really weird character from a Kid Icarus or something, but he has wings for some. He's basically the Red Bull postman. postman let's just be honest here. So uh, he's just like, that was just kind of embarrassing. We kind of have to sign it. So, uh, well, actually, I can do my do 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 do. Do 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 kind of a da ah there yay it's like my YouTube icon or at least it used to be if this is in the future and it, I've changed it but right now it's my YouTube icon but we have a cannon so uh, now we oh good. You've had a good nap, apparently, while I risked my life to help your ship out. We have a castle on our ship, by the way. Just want to point that out again. It's pretty wonderful. Anyway. So, like I said, we can head to try to head to the Northwestern Sea, like I've said before, but uh, we're not going to really be able to get there that way. But now that we have the cannon, uh, if you just, as long as you tap anything, the cannon will fire and you'll be able to shoot things. So, we can now basically shoot all the things if we break this rock. I wanna break the rock. I wanna break the rock! Nope, we can't break the rock. That's okay. So, so now that we have a cannon though, that also means enemies are gonna start to spawn, I believe. So we're gonna have to be careful about uh, sailing around. It's going to get a lot more dangerous, a lot more interesting as we go. As just hazards show up for now. But uh, but that's okay, we'll deal with it. At least the boat, do yeah, there we go, there's our first enemy. So just tap and uh, Basically, this one's simple. Just tap and fire a bullet at them, and you can destroy them fairly quickly, so they aren't too threatening. Uh, for now, like I said, we can't really get to the Northern Sea due to these tornadoes. Stop. Stop. There we go. So, keep that in mind. For now, though, we're going to attempt to, you know, just a demonstration that we still can't get to the Northern Sea. This is why we need to get a cannon first. Uh, I'm about to get blown away by a tornado. Get out of my way, sir. So, yeah, once again, if you get over here... This tornado is just not going to be very friendly, and uh, it'll get sent back to... Oh, actually, right to where Beetle is, ironically. So yeah, we better try another route. We can't get to the north that way. Where's, where's Beetle? There's Beetle. Beetle's just like, uh... So that was actually... We should... I'm going to just stop my route over here, because things are actually going to happen once we get through that gap, so... Let's just go ahead, head this way. Uh, we're going to make a jump across there and head to the rocks so we can break them and uh, go from there. So, well, let's do just that. So, hit the rocks over there. Are we in range? Not quite, but we're going to have to break them in order to get through the gap here. So, just fire away. Oh, there's actually an enemy there as well. And otherwise, just quickly break these rocks before you run into them. If you need a stop to have time to do them, then uh, do take a stop, but otherwise, we make it through the gap, we're on the west half of the southwestern sea chart, finally. Uh, so we head over this way, and... Apparently, we just an enemy is spotted right before we stopped, but, uh... Things are getting dark and foggy, though. What's going on here? The ghost ship makes a sudden appearance. Oh, man. So, there it is, the ghost ship. We've somehow found it without needing to get all three spirits. Let's go get our... Hey, squid! So, so yeah, the squid takes a couple taps. Well, like, wait, wait, where, where did you, squid? There you are. Don't, don't. Hi wow, why can I not hit you, squid? Stop. You're really obnoxious. No, I wanted to destroy the squid first. There we go. Sometimes it's really hard to hit moving targets. So what we're going to do here? Uh, that's actually kind of amusing if you head to an island instead of following the ghost ship. Lambic actually gets kind of pissy at you, so I'm going to quickly show that off. No. I'm not going to follow the ghost ship. It's scary, and I don't want to. Really, can we just stop with the... Unfortunately, enemies just spawn all the time here. It's actually a little bit obnoxious, so... Watch out for the tornadoes, by the way. They actually... These ones won't blow you away. They'll just damage your ship a little bit. They'll, they'll do the heart of damage, so be careful about that. So eventually, you'll get to, you know, back into clear waters and actually head to a new island here. So there is a new, a new island called, a. Uh, Mol Molida Island, I guess? I guess that's how you pronounce it. So, hey, we have a castle on our boat. So, hey, new island. Um, there's going to be stuff we're going to have to want to do here soon, but uh, I just wanted to show this off because you get here and he's like, the ghost ship is nearby. What the heck are you doing? Don't you want to head and find him? I'm just like, no. And he's just like, what are you 
Ghost ship! Go get the ghost ship! Anyway, we're gonna actually explore this island th thoroughly later. I'm really curious why there's a postman here, though, so... What do you want now? You're just, like, everywhere in this video. A letter from Astrid. Okay. What do you have for me, then? Uh, good tidings. Thank you for your help. You're awesome. I love you. Uh, so she pretty much hints that sometimes you should head back to the island of Ember. And also, if you ever get lost, you can, uh... Find your way by using her fortune telling skills. So just a little hint on Astrid. We're gonna want to appear a few visits along the um, the way of this game, just because there's she will actually give some good stuff. Anyway, we'll we'll discuss the the, well, the craziness on this island later. I just want to show off that Linebeck kind of just like, what are you doing? There's no time for short leave. Go get that ghost ship. So uh, well, we're gonna go get that ghost ship. We'll we'll deal with exploring these islands and the western half of this probably in the next episode. For now, we have a ghost ship to track down. So we're going to do just that. Let's go. To the Northwestern Sea! Um, but yeah, there will be some things to do. The ship icon that you see on the map, by the way, we'll also be exploring that next time, so... And, uh, oh, I probably should not explode exploring barrels right next to, and also I should be careful about this... thing that's going to kill me, so... Tornado, please do not kill me. Thank you. Anyway, we head up this way, we're gonna wanna head up to the Northwestern Sea to follow the ghost ship. It's here, it's made its appearance, like I said. We I, th I did find amusing that Linebeck's literally just like, What are you doing? That ghost ship is right there! Where are you going, you crazy person? And he's just like, I mean, I'm just like, uh, uh, well, 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 I don't know. Actually, I guess we're gonna follow it this way. We'll, we'll, we'll head towards it first and... Stop, enemies! Really, really obnoxious. So yeah, the ghost ship... Tetra's on that ghost ship. Can we save her? Can we save the day already? Who knows? Could be possible. It'd be a really short game, but hey. These squids are really all sorts of everywhere, but hey, at least they get dropped a heart, so we're pretty good. So you head over to the ghost ship, and it'll start to take it'll start to take off as you get near it. Fortunately, I don't think it ever gets in range of your cannon, so you can't like fire cannonballs at the ghost ship and piss it off or anything like that. So it stays teasingly out of reach, and as you do, the fog, the fog begins to build, and things start getting a little bit creepy here. A little bit dangerous as we head to this northwestern sea. You can barely even see. You can't see anything really. You can barely like, shoot a cannonball off, and we don't even see where it lands. But we do make it to the northwestern sea. So the ghost ship is still on here, as you can see. So let's go ahead and just follow it and see what happens. Uh, the fog, however, seems to be making things really difficult. Where is this ghost ship? Apparently, Limebeck just really vehemently wants it dead. So. Or he just wants the treasure, apparently. So he's getting all... I guess the cannonballs really don't work, because that clearly went right through. Watch out for the barrels! Ah! I was like, I couldn't really shoot that. Also, watch out for enemies. They will still appear in the fog, and you're going to have to keep a sharp eye out for them, because they will still be quite dangerous. So keep that in mind. Line back! Calm down! I'm gonna I'm going as fast as I can. Enemies here actually do drop a fairly decent amount of rupees, so... Wait, wait, for what? The, yeah, the ghost ship's right there. We, we've discussed this already. Yeah, it is really annoying. It's really hard to see through this fog. Really, really kind of annoyed about these barrels that I can really just not see until the last second here. So, uh, I guess we'll actually keep following it up this way since it's time to make turn over this way. Keep following that ghost ship! Well, the fog does make things really hard. This is, I just, like, the company is just like, oh, fog, oh, slowly following a ship. This is extremely exciting. Unfortunately, if you get too far out, even if you head to the east, uh, You'll eventually, the fog will just get ridiculous, and you'll get turned around and end up back where you started. So, unfortunately, this fog is pretty much impossible to get through. The ghost ship not letting us get through, teasing us, taunting us with with this fog. I think it's best that we don't head up, handle it right now, and that we head to an island instead. And indeed, that is what we're going to do, because Melinda Island has the keys to solving the mystery of the ghost ship. So, that island we were at earlier, let's head back there. And, uh, I guess at that point, at this point, it'll be, uh, the next episode. We discover the secrets of getting through this fog and following this ghost ship. Also, there's a new enemy here, by the way. So, oh, oh, don't hit me. Sorry. Wasn't really paying attention. So, there's the stationary enemies. They're fairly easy to hit, but they can shoot, they shoot projectiles fairly quickly. I need to be careful here. I'm only down to two hearts, so I definitely want to be careful to not destroy my boat. It's not... Not in very good shape right now, so we're gonna quickly head back to port, and from there, we'll, uh, we will 
end the episode and solve the mysteries of the ghost ship and also uh, tinker with all the stuff that we've seen. There we go. We're getting better at killing those guys now. We'll discover the, uh, we'll, we'll solve the mysteries of the ghost ship and also show off the ship. And also, hey, another golden frog. So keep in mind that's uh, where a second golden frog is, so. Um, stuff to keep in mind for the future is the location of these golden frogs. So definitely, definitely keep that uh, on the radar. But for now, we're gonna head in here, take care of what we need to take care of on Melinda Island, and in the next episode, or well, we're gonna take care of what we need to take care of on Melinda Island in the next episode. Well, it's Melida Island. There's no end in there. So uh, for now, the ghost ship has thwarted us, but we're gonna figure out what to do with it in the next episode, guys. Lucky Seventy X signing out. Stay tuned for more Legend of Zelda: Phantom Hourglass. Bye bye.